thanks for staying with us. So we found a video of an elderly couple fighting over money for feeding. In the video, the elderly woman is heard saying, give me money to eat. I am hungry. Did you buy any land for me? Look at me. I built a shop there, but it was destroyed by you. Give me money. I'm hungry. Bring that wallet out. I need to, I need to be fed. And um, quite a few people have commented on this, one of which is um, um, Commissioner of Police, uh, um, Dolakwa Badmos, also commented saying that she was actually um, really, really touched and compassionate about this and said she was willing to see what she can do to support this couple for at least a year. But um, this brings up quite a few questions because there are many layers to this video. Um, there's a part of where are their children because usually in the African setting, people expect that when the elderly is in situations like when they are old, the children are supposed to be the covering to support family. That's one. Secondly, um, the fact that two old people are fighting and um, the fact that the woman seemed to be lamenting that the man um, destroyed her store. So, so many things could be deduced from this um, altercation between both, both, both adults. What are your thoughts on this? I mean, how do you, what do you make of this video? You can call us on 081-0764-1679-090-241-63440. You can also tweet to us at TVC. Can I please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. I'll also be happy to read some on YouTube also. Nima, let me start with you. It was quite heartbreaking. Um, these people cannot be less than 80, you know, 85. Mm -hmm. And these are people obviously living in some type of poverty. And um, it's clear that um, the woman is angry and the man also seem um, quite upset at each other. So what do you, well, I was so worried that old people fighting. I mean, how are people in their 80s fighting over what? What are your thoughts when you saw this? Let's start with your initial thoughts. So I, when I saw the video, I could relate. I'd seen old people fighting in marriages before. And initially, just looking at it without the audio, I thought they were playing. Yeah. You know, I thought it was a marriage, it was a celebration of all that marriages surviving. And then when I listened to it, that was what broke my heart. Exactly the same dynamic. So a man who's disempowered his wife, refused to invest in raising his kids, sending them to school. So you have the wife taking one child to one relative, one skill worker, you know, putting the children somewhere. And the children are still struggling. That's so why they can't show up when they are old. And the woman is now saying, ah, give me food now. I mean, not like this, we go there, you know, give me money to feed. Because now she's old, she's disempowered, she doesn't even know how to earn, and her kids can't show up. You know, in the old age, they are strongly blaming the man for every of their life's problems because he failed to plan. So you see, those days, men will say, let me eat first. You people, you'll be all, all right. I know it, uh, with the case of the one I know, who in the morning, as his children are waking up, he doesn't play with his stomach. Mm -hmm. He will come outside and buy food for only himself in a house of about seven kids. Mm -hmm. uh, children plenty, women mm -hmm. plenty. Mm -hmm. He will buy only his own food. And each child is supposed to meet their mothers for what they will eat. You know, and when the kids are crying, he will be eating. You know, something I found very strange. I remember when I was in primary school, if I cry, my father can't eat. I have to be full first before anybody let me, let me Let me show the video so that mm -hmm. the viewers at home can have an idea of what we're talking about. Those who are not on social media, go ahead, please. As I said, there are lots of layers. I don't mm. understand why a woman is still dependent on a man mm. at that age to be feeding her. That means so many questions to be asked. Mm -hmm. At that age, should you still be saying, give me money? I don't understand. Maybe, but let me, that's, maybe, maybe, maybe that's not be our story. Mm -hmm. We're doing the work. Mm -hmm. I teach on this all the time. I teach on planning for old age. It's easy for you to look at where you are now. When you are in your youth, you can work and think, okay, I would be at this, I'll be able to be earning like this till mm -hmm. I'm in my 70s and 80s without strategic financial planning. You, so people, a lot of people can be wealthy or be um, average in their 40s and poor at their 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. The structure we, our social structure here is you leave off your children. Your children send you money on a monthly basis and you use that to tide yourself over. Very few actually actively plan for what will happen when I'm in my 60s. What would, how would, what, how, what would maintain my, my, the quality of my life in my 70s? And it is intentional planning. It, it doesn't just happen to you. 
and we're moving away from the stage where this is happening though. I feel like this age will still, we'll still see some people in this age that would experience this, but no woman, young woman of today in their 50s should, be, should not be self-aware enough to plan where their money and income will come in when they're in their 60s and 70s and it shouldn't be on your children. It has to be intentional. You must plan ahead. I look at that woman and I feel this is, the re this is why we preach financial security for women, financial inclusion for women. We, we preach financial empowerment for women because we don't want this kind of thing to happen to anybody. It's not right. Um, but uh, on a lighter note, they say that when children are sending money to parents at home, send to both. Because sometimes if you send to the man, this kind of thing, maybe they sent money to the man. Maybe that's why she feels the man has money and he should give me money because probably our children sent you the money and you are now holding on to it for your own personal and as opposed to, if you want to send money to your parents, send daddy's own, send mommy's own into separate accounts so that there is no division or quarrel because I feel that might be the reason. Okay. Um, the woman says she's hungry and she's shaking. This is poverty. No, no, in a certain society, this should not happen to anybody, even if they don't have family members or they do not plan for their retirement. Mm. It shouldn't. Maka, your, your initial thoughts on this? Okay, so um, this is sad, but then I like to take the positives in every situation. The positive here being that, wow, at 80 or over 80, yeah, they have strong. the energy <laughs> to fight, to see have squabbles. That's, that's good. At least, as in, they, 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 they are relating. They're going to live long. They're going to live long. At least they still have something to fight about. So I'm taking the positives from that, right? Then, but secondly, I also disagree with what I said now about like, you know, having to plan mm. for your 60s or 70s because anything can happen. Yeah. Like, for example, my mom, um, she retired as the regional manager for one of the prestigious banks in Nigeria. Mm. And this is, over this is like over 10 years and they've been in, in, in court over their pension, mm -hmm. right? And like three judges have died on the matter. Mm. Wow. They are still going back and they forth. Can plan Most all of you the want. you can plan all you want. Most of the pensioners have died, mm. and these people have to still pull money together for their lawyers and everything. So you can plan all you want. You can have um, women inclusion, financial. Um, you can plan. Anything can happen. Society. So, society, yes, and then we don't also know the structure in that family. The structure might be that the husband has always provided. If the husband has always provided, then the wife is within her right to say, bring that to your wallet. Bring out money. Give me money for feeding because he has always provided, right? Then, but I don't agree with the fact that she says she opened the kiosk and he scattered it. Mm -hmm. Like I said again, we don't know the structure within exactly. the so, home. So, Amaka, we are, we, are, we are speculating here. We don't know the backstory. Mm -hmm. And because of we are, we are just looking for different, different angles that we think. Because when a woman says, you destroyed my store, that's you also not, the. You did not. You, uh, oh, Dami Loco, you did not push business, start a business for me. Okay. You did not invest in me. Okay. You did not allow me do my own investment. Mm. So he's she invested you know? in herself. And so this. So there could be anger issues. Yes. There could be Obviously. temperamental. That's somebody who is narcissistic. So there are different different. Uh, um, the woman is personalities from her to. past. Mm. She doesn't like her present situation. Thinking and she's. She's going to be punishing that yeah. person. Mm. So from what she's saying, you yeah. can guess that these are not educated people. Mm. Dami Loko is, a, mm. is, an, is yeah. something that you know, people try to do themselves. Mm. Some people will marry and then they give their wives a pot for a wagoya and that's it. Mm. She like let her burn 12, that's mm. her yeah. business. Mm. And she's the one that knows how that pot mm. will train her kids. You know, so Okowo, start a business. Whatever the kind of business you start, that's what the woman will use to raise her fi fi family. But in this case, this man did not do that, yeah. which is some cultures you will see. Once he has done it, you will say, I've, I've already yeah. established you. Yes. If the woman is thriving, you will say, it's me that established you. Yeah. If she's not thriving, you will say, you are not a good money manager. So manager. why did she stay in that kind of marriage? See, it goes back to today. So right. we are looking at it in different angles because many women today, you are in this marriage where your husband doesn't support you. You are forcing yourself to empower yourself. Even your own personal empowering, he still destroyed it. Yet, women like this stayed. And now you're fighting each other in over 80 saying that you're not giving food. I'm thinking, so, because lots of people are in that situation today, even young couples, talk where you'd be surprised. Yeah. But lots of young couples are in that situation whereby they are not happy with their wife, they're not happy with their husband. Both of them are having, they're just managing each other. Mm. And then because of the kids that are sticking together, like, let us just manage it. But this is part of the results, so let us stick together. Yeah. Which, which, at first, I didn't like the video. I felt like, I will record it. This, these are mm. old people in their vulnerable. Probably they fight often, and that guy just let me just yeah. record this one. But I, I, I am grateful for the person who recorded and put it out now, because many of us can see an example. This is not a movie. 
You know, when you see it in a movie, you'll be like, hmm, Hollywood likes to, ex I mean, Hollywood likes to exaggerate. Mm. This cannot happen in real life. Uh -uh. Mm. How can the woman say, I'm hungry, I'm shaking, and then she's dragging a, a very old man? Mm. It's, it's just an Hollywood drama. Mm. But this one, in real life, it's a major shock that should reverberate through the minds of everybody that is planning to grow old. Mm -hmm. Because anything can happen. What if the man is not alive? For me, I like to take responsibility. I feel like if it is to be, it is up to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to blame a man that I'm hungry and shaking. Yes, if a man says I cannot run my business and I understand the importance of being financially empowered, I will let the man continue with his life and go to where I can because I cannot, I, this cannot be my future. Mm -hmm. And so women should stop the idea of saying, he said I cannot mm -hmm. do business. Mm -hmm. Oh, he, he said I, 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 my wife must be a full-time ha housewife. What will happen to you what might of, be this. What of those this of us that to be, be housewives? Mm. We desire to, yes, be housewives. to be housewives. If you want to be yes. housewife, you'll have invested. You'll tell him to invest for your future. He should buy you a house. If he wants you to be housewife, he should buy you two houses in your name so that you know that cash flow is coming from those houses. Mm -hmm. You must plan ahead for being housewife. Mm -hmm. So if a man says be housewife, ask for the asset that will take care of me in my old age. Mm -hmm. It must be secure and it must be in my name. Because if not, old age will come. Maybe the man is, maybe the man has Alzheimer's or something mm. and he's unable to perform. Mm. He might not be able to get into his account, mm. but you have spent mm. your entire life as a woman dependent on a man. And then in old age, you say hunger mm. is shaking okay. you, God forbid. Question. So th th that's for somebody who didn't do mm. something. Mm. There are marriages that the woman is forbidding to own her own assets. You remove. And they will find religious books to back it up and they're lying. Because I don't know any religion. Well, the one I practice doesn't say women should not own their own assets or start their own businesses. Mm. You're talking of a situation where the woman has some freedom. So the man will say, I will not give you money. The woman will say, okay, but I can do what I like. So she goes to Tokwe, goes to Moraya, yes, 20, 20 Naira, join it together. She has her own finances to start her business. But some men will say, I say, sir, I don't want you outside. Somebody will look at you. Somebody, your shape is too shapey. Your yellow is too yellowy. I don't want you outside. <laughs> and then he says, I want you indoors. And then fa fast forward 40 years into your marriage, you are helpless, you are in this situation. Oh. Sure, you will not beat that man as this woman is doing when they are hungry. Okay. <laughs> Let me take this, I come to your marker. Samuel's call, thanks for calling your live. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry for Samuel. Samuel. Yeah. I'm coming with your thoughts so, on this. So it takes, us, it takes me back to what I always say, choices. Mm. Marry your kind, follow your <laughs> kind. You don't need to force to beat anybody in 2024 now. Don't be so. You, as an individual, self-love, you have to love yourself and ask yourself, what's my 5 year, 10 year, 20, 30 years yeah, plan? Yeah. What do I want out of this life? What do I want to achieve? Do I want to be housewife and depend on a man or another human being squarely? If the answer is yes, now, whatever comes with it, you take it because if the person wakes up angry, that's how your day will go. If the person wakes up uh, 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 sad, mm. that's how your day will go. Mm. But if that's not what you want, then you make... Um, different um, choices and different decisions, right? Because I don't understand how in 2024, someone will tell you, you cannot work, you cannot do this, you cannot... You know that you came out... This life is not rehearsal, though. This is it. You, you, as you want to come out to, in, in this life, you don't want to make a mark. You don't want your name to be printed in the sands of time. You don't... Uh, uh, Amako Rakwe was here. Uh, uh, you don't want that for yourself. I mean... I don't understand the self love people practice, but if that's what you want, if that's what. But you see, ladies, see. There's, a, there's a part of us who've not spoken. Let me okay, I have a caller. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Thanks for calling your live. Yeah, good morning, Morale. Yes. How are you? Very well. Go ahead, please. Yeah, actually, the, when China was here last week, uh, we discussed about this in terms of train the children, train this and that. And that's not what I'm saying now. Hello? We can hear you. Go ahead, please. So when China was here last week, we talked about train the children or did something like that. It doesn't mean at that age to have that kind of issue. Like, I 99 believe what uh, Papa mentioned now. Plan yourself for future because, and secondly, having a covenant, have a covenant, have a covenant, for you to train the children who will, will remember you. Thank you very much. Have a lovely Thank you. Time. I didn't hear what you said a lot because, but I was going to go to what Nima said earlier. Bottled up anger mm. in spouses. Mm. We are frustrated. You know, society forces you to accept a role mm -hmm. and you stay in that role and then you grow up and you have regrets mm -hmm. and you're lashing out that anger on your spouse. 
So they and lots of people are in that. Maybe theirs might not be poverty. Theirs might not be different things. You you said something about maybe not empowering, allowing somebody to even work. But there are other parts of, of, of living with somebody that says, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't have a second degree. No, you have to take up the children. You can, I remember a story of a woman said, she used to work in, um, in, I think, in Lagos. She got a fantastic opportunity in Port Harcourt, an NPC, I think. Very, it was a big job at the time, three-year salary. And her husband said she can't go. And she stayed in Lagos until tomorrow she was still lamenting yeah, no. that she wished she took that job then because she just stayed home. She eventually lost her job in Lagos. She became a housewife. She just, just, just felt that her entire life was snatched from her. Now imagine someone like that holding up that bottle of anger in her life, growing up, accepting the reality. I am a housewife. Let me just take up my children. My children are enough. And you raise them, you raise them. They now travel around the world. And your husband is there still doing his own business. And you just feel empty. And he's, you're still dependent. So that frustration is part of what we may be seeing in this woman's anger. So how do we avoid this bottled up anger and frustration that we all just carry in the name of let me manage my, let me carry my own course? This is a much more easier case mm. compared to, so you still mm. have it good. It's just that that one time mm. experience, you've not been able to let it go. Mm. So maybe if you have um, therapy and talk to someone, you can actually let it go. I mean, your economics are not bad. You're not begging. It is not that the man disempowered you enough for you to be in this woman's case mm. where you are totally broke and hungry and helpless. Mm. So you can have the talk. Once I had an event I wanted to go about eight years ago. Can I pause you for a second? Someone from just called back. I don't want to lose him again. Okay. Sam, oh, I think we lost him. Go ahead. You're talking about exactly oh, the sorry, line. Someone. So I had this event and it was an evening event. I just, my husband just couldn't process going for an evening event. So a friend of mine and myself were invited for that event. It was a close female mentors mm. kind of thing. And by evening, it was in Ikoyi. I got dressed to leave the house around three. I said, ah, the event starts at four. I'll be back by maybe eight. And my husband was like, go here. Who was? <laughs> without driver, without security. I beg, sit down. And so I didn't go for that event, but my friend went. And my friend would not let me hear the last of it. No. Everybody kept asking of you. Everybody said, you okay. And I now calculated what I projected. Mm. Could have connected that day. Yeah. Ah. I had to sit him down. I'll go and sit down. See what you have cost me. If this opportunity comes again, and then I don't think I'll be able to let it go, I won't be able to forgive you for it. Well, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Because I had said it now, maybe, mm. you know, I've been able to ease that anger. But each time I see that my friend flying, mm. who was able to attend, I'll be like, ah, you must see your life. You know? So sometimes this, can, this cannot be so bad. If she can have that conversation, it's okay. If it is if the person you're married to, you can't talk to them about how something hurts you, how important things are to you, how you know your sacrifices are not being. Some people we can talk know, to them. They're not, they're not, they're 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 they don't answer you. They don't answer you. Hey, it's the same thing. Talk, talk, talk your talk. talk. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, you, you, mentioned, talk. you mentioned many people living in that frustration mm. for a very long yeah. time. Mm. Because we have a culture of submit, tolerate, mm. submit, endure, endure. Mm. endure. Yeah. You, a good woman endures, a good woman yes, tolerates, a good woman submits, and you will, people stay in that relationship for many years mm -hmm. and hoping that one day it will get better. You know, it go, get, it go better, it go better, it go better. Oh, you are prayer. enduring, you are tolerating, but you are getting bitter. Mm -hmm. Scientifically, the bitterness of endurance is linked with many chronic diseases. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we know, they've confirmed it. This is not them say, them say, this is scientific. When you are bitter, you are withholding a lot of things, there's cancer, there's a lot of things that follow that would affect you. It's important that we let women give room for women to say, this is, I have a choice. This is my life as well. I had that conversation with my, like, it was just very recent. I said, this decision you are making is affecting my life. I, do, you, do you understand? Like, my life will be affected by this your decision. It's not just about the children, me. And my life is very important to me. <laughs> so think very well. I was like, please, think very well before you make this decision. Because it would affect not just me, but our children. And I, will, I want to follow you. But I need to be convinced that you have given it deep thought. It's not your ego. Mm. It's not your pride. It's not just what everybody around you is saying. Yeah. I think that we need to raise our, our women to be able to speak up and be able to fight for what they strongly believe in. I wish this old woman had fought for her shop. She mm -hmm. had fought for that kiosk. Mm -hmm. She had fought mm -hmm. for her financial independence mm -hmm. because she would not be crying and mm -hmm. shaking with hunger mm -hmm. if she had fought earlier in her life to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. Now she would not be hungry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So I remember, like, as I think I have a caller. Hold on, Michael. Hello. Good morning. Are you there? 
Okay, I'm gonna shop. We're gonna come back and start with you, Amaka. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.